slipping. Ready to go. Hang it on is Tony Tucker. And he got to do with him. That's it. This is what he's got to do. He's got to finish him off. Tony Tucker unloading. Tony Tucker to the head of Lewis. And Lewis just standing there. But he like Lewis hurt. That is it. Is he hurt or is he is he setting a trap for him? That's something we got to know. I think he wanted a slugfest. Now he's got trying to end it right here. Oh, what a left hand by Lewis. Tucker trying to fight back. Tucker trying to. You can see him. He's starting to lean back, starting to cock it. He's looking to take that right over the top. And right now he's risking taking right hands. Back comes Tucker. But Lewis again taunting. That is it for the ninth round. Give Tucker credit for guts. Pertandingan Lennox Lewis versus Tony Tucker yaitu pada tanggal 8 Mei tahun 1993 di Thomas and Mack Center Nevada, Amerika Serikat. Di mana pertandingan ini adalah pertandingan Lennox Lewis untuk pertama kalinya mempertahankan gelar kelas berat WBC miliknya. Setelah Riddick Bowe memilih untuk mengosongkan gelar tersebut. Dan Tony Tucker yang datang sebagai penantang nomor satu WBC harus berjuang keras selama 12 ronde jalannya pertandingan ini. Di ronde ketiga. Di ronde ketiga ketika Tony Tucker berusaha untuk memukul Lennox Lewis dengan pukulan jabnya. Tetapi Lennox Lewis berhasil mengelak dan dengan cepat mendaratkan hook kanannya. Yang spontan menjatuhkan Tony Tucker ke kanpas untuk pertama kalinya di sepanjang karir tinjunya. Yaitu dari 50 kali pertandingan yang sudah dijalaninya. Di ronde ke-8 Di ronde ke-8 Tony Tucker berhasil membuat Lennox Lewis dalam masalah Setelah mendaratkan lebih dari 20 kali pukulan kombinasinya di akhir ronde ke-8 ini Tetapi Lennox Lewis berhasil membalikkan keadaan pada 25 detik waktu tersisa di akhir ronde ke-8 ini. Dengan mendaratkan beberapa pukulan-pukulan keras yang jelas-jelas melukai Tony Tucker di akhir ronde ke-8 ini. Di ronde ke-9 Ketika dimulainya ronde ke-9 pada pertandingan ini Lennox Lewis langsung maju menyerang dan berhasil menjatuhkan Tony Tucker untuk yang kedua kalinya Dengan mendaratkan hook kanan ke sisi kepala Tony Tucker Namun Tony Tucker langsung bangkit berdiri dan kembali melanjutkan pertandingannya hingga berronde ke-12 dibunyikan Tanda pertarungan telah usai Tucker 
setting another trap. He you is. can't tell. This he will is. be a very, very cagey, inexperienced champion. He's setting his trap. It's kind of stupid when you got a big guy there that can bang you. He's just kind of letting them. He's the one with the experience. Tucker with a right cross. There's nothing on Tucker's punches, though. Nothing. And then a low blow by Tucker. A good heavyweight championship fight with both men trying to get the, the advantage rather than that chess game we were watching. Lennox Lewis is looking to load up on one right hand. That's it. There's the hook. That's what he's looking for, Bobby. Just that one zipping punch that'll, that'll change him around, turn his legs to jelly. He's sitting on it, too. You can see him. He's starting to lean back, starting to cock it. He's looking to take that right over the top. And right now, he's risking taking right hands. Back comes Tucker. But Lewis again taunting. Now, give Tucker credit for guts. around that way. There's once you're already beating the other guy, you're beating him well. You start being cautious. Now look at this. Look at the attack by Tony Tucker. That's what I'm talking about. Once again, you see Lennox Lewis now. The energy is real important at this point. Again, uncharted territories after this round. He's backing Lewis up. Lewis comes instead of some combinations and landing the big one late. Tucker feels that at times Lewis makes but it's never too late in boxing. As you well know, Bobby, it's never too late. But Tony Tucker coming on stronger later here in the fight. Running into a right hand and a left hook. Again, he's coming in, but Lennox Lewis seems to be slightly revived. Keep on, keep on, well, I think that's what they did. They took that one off. And they said, okay, go back to the attack. But uncharted waters, and again, we hearken back to the two judges from Great Britain if this goes to the cards. That's what Tony Tucker should have been doing. They didn't land much, but boy, the breeze from him was hurting uh, Lennox Lewis at least as like he did before. Lewis slipping. His foot went right out of the ring, yeah. down to a knee. Uh, no punches landed, just one of those things. But that again. Now's when Tony's got Back to the fight. Don't forget, Tony Tucker said at the outset that that doesn't trouble him. Isn't that somewhat of an oxymoron? <laughs> What'd you call it? Lennox Lewis trying to hold on to the championship. Tony against Riddick Bowe, you're saying this wouldn't cut it. It would not with Reddick Bowe. Off of this, I don't think Lennox increased his uh, popularity a great deal. Or his stock. Namun setelah pertandingan usai, Tony Tucker harus mengakui kehebatan Lennox Lewis. Setelah ketiga hakim juri sepakat memberikan kemenangan bulat kepada Lennox Lewis. Yaitu dengan skor 118-111, 117-111, dan 116-112 untuk kemenangan Lennox Lewis.